manager at here uh, here at uh, Views. So I'm going to be going over our uh, professional uh, security monitor line. Uh, we make monitors for a lot of different industries: uh, broadcast, security, uh, medical. But we're going to just focus on the uh, the, the monitor products that we uh, manufacture specifically for security markets. So let me get started with this presentation. <clears throat> So let me just go over our uh, history briefly, uh, what we do as a company. Uh, our factory was established back in 2002, uh, and we started mainly as a OEM manufacturer. So we made monitors for uh, more known global brands around the, uh, the world. Uh, uh, just to kind of name an example, uh, one of our OEM customers is uh, Panasonic. So those are the kind of companies that we do at, uh, uh, OEM for. Uh, back in 2009, Views uh, was established um, as our own label to market our own products. And uh, we set up shop here in Southern California. We're in Orange County, um, California. And uh, since then, we've become one of the leading manufacturers in the industry for security monitors. So once again, uh, we're headquartered here in Orange County, California. Um, See if I can move this around. There we go. So we have our inside sales team over here. Uh, we also do RMA and tech support. Uh, so we do everything pretty much out of this uh, same location. But we do have reps uh, all around the country over here, as well as uh, in uh, parts of Latin America. So, and we have different regional managers that handle different regions as well. So let me just go over uh, what makes our monitors different than some of the other monitors that you can very easily find uh, through uh, other retail um, chains. Uh, so Views is focused on providing commercial grade monitors, meaning we use what's called commercial uh, panels. And the panel difference is pretty much the biggest difference that uh, would separate us from other consumer brands, such as ViewSonic or uh, Vizio, those kinds of brands. So um, not only that, we only choose grade A panels. So panels have different grades. And obviously, higher the grade, uh, better the panel, uh, with uh, less chances of uh, dead pixels, uh, any kind of defects, things like that. So uh, grade A panels are reserved only for um, these commercial purposes, and those are the panels that we use uh, for our monitors. So which means uh, these are constructed for a longer uh, lifespan and longer operation, and we guarantee uh, mean time between failure uh, somewhere around 50,000 hours. And that's assuming that the mon or that's basically 50,000 hours with the monitors running 24 hours, seven days a week. So definitely that's what uh, separates us from um, uh, consumer products once again. Um, other than that, there's other features that also separate us from consumer products, such as uh, image rotation, meaning um, if you have a static image on your monitor, it'll create what's called a burn-in. It'll, uh, over time, leave, me, leave, leave a uh, um, uh, what's called a burn-in image of uh, the static uh, image that was on the screen. Uh, so we have what's called an image rotation that doesn't really disrupt like a, uh, a screensaver on your computer, uh, which is like a completely different thing. Um, image rotation just basically rotates the pixels just slightly so that it doesn't disrupt what you're viewing, uh, especially because in a security market, what these monitors are being used, the reason why they're on 24 hours 7 is because usually someone is watching these uh, surveillance video 24 7. So. Uh, it's, it's very important not to disrupt that, obviously. So um, we do what's called an image rotation to not disrupt uh, what's being viewed, but at the same time um, uh, move the pixels around so that it doesn't create what's called a burn-in once again. Um, our monitors also have what's called auto power and source recovery. So not only does it power back on if there's like a power outage, but also it recovers the source, meaning if you were showing HDMI source on your monitor, it'll go right back to that source rather than going back to default, whatever the default mode is, which a lot of consumer uh, monitors are like that, where it wouldn't, it would power back on maybe, but not go back to that source that you were showing. Also, some of our monitor products have uh, unique features for uh, 
uh, display modes, uh, picture in picture, picture by picture, and video on video. And I'll get more into that a little bit later. Um, beyond that, we also offer three-year advanced replacement warranty. So not only do we offer uh, a three-year warranty, uh, advanced replacement meaning if anything happens within the three years, um, at our discretion, we will swap out the monitor uh, with a uh, brand new one, um, no questions asked. So let me just go over now uh, some of our different series that we offer. And um, so these are all broken down into different types of categories of monitors that we offer. So let me start with the smaller desktop monitors that we offer. So we do have, um, these are our uh, RTN and RTC series analog monitors, which are uh, basically geared towards the uh, people that are so used, people that still need four to three aspect ratio monitors. So uh, as, you, as you may be aware, most monitors that are in the market nowadays are 16 to nine widescreen format. And uh, most of the, uh, the media that you watch are geared towards that aspect ratio. However, in security, a lot of people are still using four to three aspect or need four to three aspect um, monitors because they're still connecting to analog cameras. Uh, analog cameras obviously have a different aspect ratio. Um, their natural um, a video resolution um, is basically in four to three aspect ratio mode. So if you're direct connecting your analog camera to a monitor, uh, you will definitely need the four to three aspect ratio monitor. So these are the different models that we offer. So in the RTN series, we have two different sizes, uh, 17 and 19 inch monitor, uh, models. Um, so in addition to being four to three aspect ratio, uh, they also feature 3D comb filter, deinterlacing, which I'll get into a little bit later. Um, also 600 TV lines out, if you need to loop it up to a different uh, spot monitor or something like that. Um, and they also feature HDMI and VGA. VGA is really antiquated. I'm not sure if anyone's still using VGA, but if you have a, a PC or something like that, that only has a VGA out. Um, then that's probably something that uh, yeah, you'll need the VGA for. Uh, they also have two BNC inputs and one BNC. So it's a loop through. So it'll let you connect two different BNC uh, video sources or uh, input sources, um, perhaps two uh, uh, analog cameras. And it lets you loop it out to, uh, once again, um, um, an external source. So uh, another spot monitor possibly a, uh, a DVR. Um, so in, in, in that scenario, it becomes a middle device. Um, these also have built-in speakers, uh, and they do all come with three-year warranty, once again. RTC series, we have uh, currently one model. Uh, so this is a 10.1 uh, uh, inch um, monitor. Um, What's unique about this model is that it has the uh, um, metal housing, so it's made to be ruggedized. Uh, these, a lot of these uh, will actually not only go into security, uh, they also get used as different um, uh, AV type of a, uh, or they go into a lot of the uh, AV audio video application. So for instance, if you're doing like a seminar or something like that, um, these get used as like a podium monitor, like a, uh, a teleprompter even. Um, or sometimes they go into other applications such as uh, factories, like machine, when you're doing uh, machinery and things like that, these will get used for those kinds of purposes. But for security purposes, this is a perfect 10.1-inch uh, smaller scale monitor. So if you have limited space, perhaps, uh, this is a smaller um, security monitor. So they feature BNC, HDMI, VGA, um, trigger, that's not really important. Um, so if you have also, this is uh, uh, made to be, uh, this is a little bit of a wider screen actually, it's actually five to four, but you can choose different, different um, aspect ratios. So 16 to nine or four to three, depending on what viewing, what source you're viewing on the monitor. So if you need it to be more four to three, like if you're plugging in an analog camera into it, uh, then you can choose that mode. And what it'll do is it'll put black bars on each side to make it more four to three than 16 to nine. Otherwise. Uh, you're viewing it in a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. Uh, 2D comb filter, noise reduction, these are the features that are built in to kind of give you a cleaner picture. 
uh, without there being a lot of distortion in the image. Built-in speakers, three-year warranty, and once again, it's unique in the sense that it is housed in a uh, ruggedized metal housing. So it's made to be very sort of a um, um, rough and ready kind of a monitor in a uh, more tougher environment, perhaps, where these monitors actually might take uh, a little bit of beating, if you will. So let me just explain these two features that are that go into our monitors. 3D comb filter, as you can see in this picture, that's with 3D comb, uh, comb filter on, and that's with off. So you can obviously see the difference. What it does is it reduces unwanted video noise and dot crawl. So it just basically gets a lot, uh, gets rid of a lot of uh, distortion in the video uh, that renders it very um, dirty, if you will. Uh, so it gives you a lot cleaner uh, picture with uh, uh, way higher definition. Uh, the interlacing um, it mainly works to reduce motion blurriness uh, as well as uh, jagged uh, lines in video. So if you have video where, you know, it's like a car or something like that, without the interlacing, you're going to be seeing a lot of jagged lines. So any kind of a, a motion heavy kind of a video um, where otherwise you would get a lot of blurriness, uh, the interlacing basically helps to reduce any of those unwanted uh, uh, artifacts in the video. And these are all uh, standard features on our monitors. Now let's move on to our 16 to 9 uh, aspect ratio uh, smaller scale um, desktop monitors. So we have three different series in this uh, uh, category, our CME, CMP, and CMX series monitors. So very simply, um, let me just break them down uh, into what they are. Uh, and what's different between the three of them. CME is your basic desktop monitor, um, available in 19.5, 21.5, and 24 inches, obviously made to run 24-7. These are all commercial-grade monitors. They all feature commercial-grade A panels, 40% uh, 40 po 40 power consumption uh, in comparison to regular monitors, uh, thanks to ultra-slim LED backlight design. Uh, and they also have auto power and source recovery CMP, um, in addition to your regular digital interfaces, meaning HDMI, DVI, um, they also feature looping VNCs. So these are made to also be uh, compatible with your analog cameras as well. So you can direct uh, your analog cameras in there. Um, available in the same sizes, 19.5, 21.5, and 24 inches. Uh, again, made to run 24-7, grade A panels, same power consumption reduction, and same auto power and source recovery. Uh, this is a brand new product that was introduced in 2017, uh, uh, about in the fourth quarter. So this is still a brand new product for us, and uh, we're gaining a lot of interest. It's our CMX series, what's unique about these monitors, so they, they're available in different sizes. They're hybrid monitors. So not only do they support regular analog signals, which is uh, CVBS. They also support TVI, which is usually uh, something that's, that was actually developed by uh, Hike Vision. So uh, any Hike Vision cameras or similar cameras that have TVI signals, uh, or CVI, which is uh, DAWA, uh, something that was developed by DAWA and similar cameras that have the same uh, signal format, and AHD, which is analog high definition developed by Samsung. So there's a lot of these cameras in the market right now that have these sort of uh, signal formats. So they're made to be analog, but high definition at the same time. So it's something that lets you uh, keep your infra, um, existing infrastructure with you know, your uh, coax cables, but you're getting much higher definition video. Uh, all those cameras are supported with this uh, monitor. Uh, and this product is pretty unique right now in the marketplace. There's, there, I'm not aware of other monitors that are available with these uh, connections, uh, especially in these sizes and in, uh, in these uh, uh, configurations. So that's something that's very unique in the marketplace right now. Um, so uh, perhaps if you're in the market or if you have projects that call for these type of monitors, Views has them uses one of the few manufacturers, if any, that has something like this right now. So 
So these 16 to 9 monitors, uh, they're all full HD, meaning they're full 1080p resolution. So they're uh, definitely high definition video. And once again, these are the breakdown into um, the type of uh, uh, interfaces that these uh, different uh, series have. So CME is just your digital interface and VGA. Our CMP series, once again, is digital interface plus VGA plus BMCs. So these all have two in and one out, which is a loop through once again. And CMX, once again, very unique, uh, digital interface VGA, but also they're hybrid in a sense that they su support these uh, CVI, TVI, and AHD signal formats. So uh, these are 16 to 9 monitors. If you do have, for instance, uh, a CMP model and you're connecting a uh, analog camera, once again, these have the option to let you choose 4 to 3 aspect ratio, which is, since this is a wider format um, type of monitor, it'll put black bars on both sides to, uh, to make it 4 to 3 aspect ratio. So it'll make it a, uh, uh, um, um, a more of a uh, square, if you will, uh, with that 4 to 3 aspect ratio uh, uh, rendering. Uh, these monitors all have also power and source recovery. So once again, if there's a power outage, it'll power back on and go right back to the source that it was showing. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can feel free to stop me at any time, and I'd be more than happy to answer any of your, uh, any of your questions that you may have. Now, moving on to our uh, LX series monitors. These are uh, some of our larger monitors. So um, these are more heavy-duty security monitors, if you will. Uh, and uh, we do have them uh, if available in sizes ranging from 24 to 42. So this is what we call mid-size displays. These are some of the highlights of our LX series uh, LED monitors. These are full 1080p resolution, so full HD, high definition. Once again, available in sizes 24, 27, 32, and 42 inches. So once again, mid-range sizes. Uh, these all feature ruggedized metal housing as well. So they're made to be a little bit more robust um, and uh, made to take a beating, if you will. So um, I don't, they get used for a lot of different applications, desktop security monitors that are slightly larger, um, but also they get used as, uh, for instance, um, um, public view monitors and retail applications or supermarkets. Uh, they don't have built-in cameras, obviously, but they can, you know, uh, bundle them or they get bundled with external cameras. Um, sometimes they go into jails and those kinds of applications because they're metal bezel, once again, they're a little bit tougher, so they can take a beating. So uh, if you have, you know, monitors that need to go into rough environments uh, or just, you know, monitors that need to basically withstand some of the more tougher environment uh, settings, uh, these are ideal monitors for those purposes. Uh, these also feature 3D comb filter, the interlacing, and they all have built-in speakers as well. So um, perhaps if you have like a, a video source with audio, for instance, if you have a video coming out of the, uh, your PC that this is connected to, uh, coming, in, coming in through HDMI, um, these will also support audio. Uh, these all feature digital inputs and analog inputs, so the, these all have DNC loop-throughs. Uh, these actually have a lot of DNC, uh, so they have up to five inputs and two out. So five and two out, that's, so it gives you a lot of flexibility as far as uh, uh, being able to um, have a lot of DNC video sources uh, plugged into the same monitor. Uh, these all also feature image rotation uh, feature um, or image rotation that I went over earlier to prevent pixel burn-in. Uh, these are the monitors that have PIP and PVP built into it. Um, so PIP meaning picture in picture, PVP meaning picture by picture. And I'll get into that uh, in more details a little bit later. Uh, these also have auto power and source recovery. These also have four to three aspect ratio mode. So these are 16 to nine uh, aspect ratio monitors, but if you have analog sources, cameras mainly, you can switch to four to three aspect ratio with the black bars on each side. 
also backed by three-year advanced uh, replacement warranty. So this is another series that's coming out. So we have HX series that's coming out uh, in the same sizes as LX, basically. And what's going to be different about these monitors versus the LX series is that just like the RS, uh, CMX series, these will support CVI and TVI and AHD. So these are ba uh, basically our hybrid monitors that are housed in metal housing but support these um, uh, analog uh, HD signals. So AHD once again, CVI and CVI, uh, and the TVI. Um, so these are all supported uh, on these monitors as well. Otherwise, uh, the features are very identical to our LX series. And we expect these to land somewhere uh, right at the beginning of uh, Q or um, probably right at the end of Q1, so probably right before uh, ISC West in Las Vegas this year. Uh, and uh, I believe we're going to be actually uh, debuting these monitors at the show uh, at our booth. So beyond that, we have what's called UHD series 4K monitors. So these are our 4K monitors, uh, and we have them in three different sizes. Uh, so let me go over the unique features about these 4K monitors. So these are not just 4K monitors that uh, otherwise you would be able to find that, once again, any of, the, any of the, uh, the, the popular retail stores. These are 4K monitors that are obviously commercial grade, so they feature commercial panels, but they're a little bit more specific to security industry with some of the built-in features. The biggest thing, it has um, a quad display capability. So it can take four different uh, sources, in, uh, input sources, and display them together like this in a quad format. So essentially it becomes like a smaller video wall for security. So if you have, for instance, four VMSs, MVRs, or even remote viewing PCs, and you just need to be able to display them uh, on a single monitor as a smaller scale video because once uh, sometimes you have limited wall space or desktop space. Uh, if you go into a lot of these retails, like a department store, if you go into the loss prevention room, they're usually pretty cramped as far as uh, the amount of space that's available, especially wall space. So a lot of the times it's not really feasible to have uh, a full scale video wall unless they have like a full scale video, uh, like a uh, security monitoring room. Usually, loss prevention rooms are pretty small once again. So this is a perfect type of a monitor that will basically cater very well to that kind of an application. So uh, they're available in 43-inch, 55-inch, and 65-inch. They support 4K resolution. So if you just have one source that's coming in, as, uh, coming in at 4K resolution, you can show a single image in 4K resolution. But otherwise, you can break it down into quad, and each source being shown will be 1080p at that point. Uh, beyond that, it also supports picture by picture, picture in picture, and triple video display. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. It's not just quad or single view. It gives you uh, a bunch of other display modes. So really, depending on your exact need, you can choose that display mode that best fits your uh, application. Once again, great solution is smaller scale video wall for applications with limited wall space, or even desk, uh, these are made to be desktop. They can be mounted also, but uh, if you, you can use, you can pretty much wall mount them or put it on a desk. Now let's go over our video wall products. So these are our full scale video wall products. Uh, Use uh, has been doing uh, video wall products for about 10 years. Um, and uh, we've actually done a lot of projects in, uh, not just here in the U.S., but also uh, uh, a lot of different countries, actually, in uh, Central and Latin America and even Mexico. So uh, we do actually do a lot of uh, uh, video wall projects uh, in that part of the world. So let me start with our video wall displays or monitors. So we have two different series. 
we have what's called NB series and we have what's called UNB series. Uh, NB stands for narrow bezel um, and UNB stands for ultra narrow bezel. So the difference being narrow bezel is pretty narrow, ultra narrow is super narrow. Uh, so when you basically uh, install a video wall, you're obviously combining or aggregating these monitors in a, uh, a certain configuration, whether it's two by two, two by four, three by three, but the point being that they're all, they're all gonna be combined together. So when they're combined together, your goal as uh, someone who's installing a video wall is to have as little gap between the monitors as possible. So depending on your need, you can go narrow or if you're even, if it's even more demanding, you can go ultra narrow. So as far as the measurements go, uh, our MB series, the bezel width is 5.9 millimeters. So it's not a whole lot. <clears throat> and this series is actually very popular um, um, with uh, different vi uh, video projects that we get involved with because they're very cost effective, especially in comparison, comparison to some of our competitors. Uh, for all the same features that you get and commercial grade monitor uh, panels and all that stuff, uh, we offer these at a, a really attractive price. So we're, uh, we actually do get a lot of projects with these, uh, uh, the two models. So they're available in two different sizes, 49 inches and 55 inches. So these are full 1080p um, resolution, once again, the bezel width is 5.9 .9 millimeters, so it's pretty narrow. Uh, these are all metal cabinets, obviously, so they're made to be um, structurally robust. Uh, and they feature pretty much all digital interfaces, you know, display ports, DVI, HDMI, but also analog AV inputs, including RS-232. So uh, the whole idea with RS-232 uh, is that when, when these are uh, in a video, video wall configuration, you want to be able to turn them on and off uh, without individually turning them on and off. You know, that's very cumbersome, obviously. So uh, RS-232 connection basically connects all these monitors to be controlled uh, together as a singular unit. So uh, using one remote, you can turn these monitors on and off, and you can also switch sources, digital sources, that is. So you can switch from DVI to HDMI without having to do that on individual monitors, once again. So that's what RS-232 is for. These also have 3D comb filter and the interlacing. They also have built-in speakers. Uh, and they also feature image rotation to prevent burn-in once again. Uh, backed by three-year advanced replacement warranty, so if anything happens, any kind of defect, which is very rare, but if that happens, then we will replace that monitor and send you a new one. Um, another thing that I didn't mention, uh, or that's not mentioned in here, these all have built-in media players as well. So they will actually take uh, media that's on your thumb drive, USB, uh, and play pretty much um, video formats or any kind of slideshows. Uh, so it'll support both picture and, uh, uh, and video formats, like AVI, for instance. So they can actually use, be used as a standalone um, digital signage sort of a thing. Uh, I'm focusing more on the security application right now, but if you do need monitors that just do simple digital signage, meaning uh, if your uh, uh, your uh, restaurant chain client needs digital menus, this is another um, application that these monitors get into, where uh, you can upload contents on a uh, on a, on your USB uh, and use them for that purpose. So once again, these will support like JPEG files or picture files as well as video files. And you can even do slideshows and things like that once again. So, I'm not sure why it's not letting me skip to the next page. Uh, Bizarre. Okay, now moving on to our UMD series. Uh, this is our ultra narrow bezel. 
These are also available in two different sizes, 49 and 55. Uh, they're very similar in features uh, between uh, UMB and NB. Uh, the major difference being that this is uh, these, uh, this series has a lot thinner bezel width, so 1.2 millimeters, which is super, super narrow. Uh, when these are combined together, the gaps are virtually seamless, um, and especially on a larger scale, um, you're not going to be seeing gaps pretty much. Uh, they're just going to be slight lines uh, at that point. So uh, once again, if your application is a little bit more demanding and it needs to be ultra thin bezel, and this is, you know, these are your model, 49 or 55. Uh, these are all uh, both, again, uh, 1080p resolution. When these are combined together, active, act, active to active bezel width is as little as, uh, so yeah, combined 1.2, 1.2, that's you know, 3.4 millimeters, basically, so very, very thin. These both feature um, digital and analog inputs, just like the MD series. Also backed by three-year replacement warranty. If, uh, image rotation is also available on these. Um, and you can even scroll through OSD functions through RS, uh, or RJ232, which is basically, it's a CAT5 type of an RS232. And same thing here, R232 controls power on and off as well as uh, source switching. They don't have to control them on or do that on individual monitors once again. And these all have the built-in media players as well. So if you once again have a uh, uh, the more of a digital signage application that you're dealing with, restaurants, things of that nature, uh, building directory in a building, then you can just play um, media contents off of a USB thumb drive. Otherwise, these are more of a security uh, video wall type of uh, type of products. Now let me go over our video wall uh, uh, controllers. So the controllers are what's basically feeding these monitors. Um, so we have two different series. Uh, I'm going to focus more on our Pro series because it's something that caters more towards uh, uh, security application and. Most of the projects that we get into are uh, security related. So um, let me go uh, into some of the details about the Pro Series over here. Uh, so they take HDMI input sources from external video sources, whether that's a DVR, NVR, DMS, or remote viewing PCs. So any HDMI uh, external video source. Um, they will be brought in uh, through individual input. So the thing about these uh, servers is they can, they, can, they can be configured with um, standard configurations, meaning if you go with our Pro 4 model, it'll come with four inputs, which allows for four external video sources to be brought in, or, and, and four output, which it'll support four monitors. So for instance, if you're just doing a simple two by two uh, video, uh, video configuration, and you only need maybe three or possibly up to four input sources, then Pro 4 is your model. So we have standard models that have matching numbers of inputs and outputs. So Pro 8 is 8 and 8 out, Pro 12 is 12 and 12 out, and Pro 16 is 16 and 16 out. Um, we also do models that are more specially configured, and that's what we uh, say that these servers are highly configurable. Uh, because you can have different number of inputs as well as different number of outputs. So if you have more monitors that you need for the video wall, but you only need minimal number of inputs, you can literally just have four inputs and say if you have 12 monitors, you can have 12 outputs. So you can have a model that has four in, 12 out. Uh, so these will be all in, in increments of four. The, the video cards that are input cards and the output cards are all four input or four output each. So that's why it's always in increments of four. Um, so depending on your needs, once again, if you have, say, you only need 10 inputs, but you need 16 out because you have 16 monitors because you're doing a four by four configuration, then literally we can configure the server to have 12 inputs and 16 outputs. So it is highly configurable uh, in that way. 
but otherwise, these are our standard models. We also have a smaller scale one, which we call Pro Mini. So this is an actually uh, smaller uh, form factor uh, server that just comes basic um, with basic configuration, which is one input and four out. And these are a lot more cost effective, uh, cost effective than our regular servers. So if you just have a very simple two by two, one by four kind of a uh, video uh, uh, project, but you only literally need to bring in one input source for external video, then Pro Mini will be a perfect choice for that. Uh, we also have a DSM series, which is more geared towards digital signage applications. So these are not really made to be security because in security, once again, you're gonna need to bring in external video sources, which DSM does not support. DSM series servers are made to basically play onboard media, so you can, these will have uh, 512 uh, gigs of uh, SSD storage on board, and you can store video on board or picture files. Um, so these are once again made to be more uh, digital signage um, application. And we have three different models, DSM-4, which is four outputs, DSM-8 with eight outputs, which will support eight monitors, obviously, and DSM-16, which are 16 outputs uh, model. Uh, so that's what uh, Pro Mini small form factor controller looks like. This is just a quick uh, uh, system layout and how these typically get installed and the connections between the different devices and things like that. So once again, if you just have one control, uh, one input source, uh, whether that's a uh, Blu-ray display or your PC, uh, your camera, or even your uh, um, uh, VMS or MVR, uh, It'll support one channel, so it'll allow for one external video source to be brought in. Um, we have a what's called the CMS software that it comes bundled with the hardware. Uh, CMS software can run on board on Pro Mini, but you can also have it on a, a separate remote PC, and you can actually install it on a number of different PCs. So what it allows is over the network, and that's why it shows a network diagram over here, so you don't even have to be in the video, uh, same location as where the video was located. Uh, you can literally uh, control uh, a lot of the key functions uh, with the CMS software uh, from an entirely different location as long as you have the network connection to the controller over the network. And these, uh, these are the, uh, the video monitors. Obviously, this is in a uh, two by two configuration for monitors. Uh, this is a more, comp uh, not complicated, but more uh, involved layout. Uh, so it shows Pro 8 or 16 layouts. Um, uh, so that's your 16 monitors uh, wall configuration, four by four. And uh, this is how it gets basically connected to the server. Um, all the um, so there's your network hub basically connect, you know, connecting the server, the video server to the network so that you can actually control the, uh, uh, the server through the, uh, the network once again, uh, as it was shown on the other uh, map as well. So basically the same idea. Um, those are your external video sources that, uh, you know, depending on the number of inputs, you know, that's how many. Uh, up to how many you can uh, you know connect um, and show on your video wall. Uh, so pretty 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 much the same idea. Only difference being these larger servers have more number of inputs and outputs, but that's your typical uh, connection diagram. Uh, any questions at this point? No, there is no question. All right, great. Moving on. So. Uh, just a quick overview on what the software looks like. So this is the CMS software. So this is a um, really user-friendly software to use. It has a lot of uh, bells and whistles. Um, so if you want to get into like really specific functionalities, for instance, how to do certain things with uh, uh, with uh, RS-232 commands and things like that, you can actually custom configure RS-232 commands to do certain things, trigger certain things and whatnot, uh, to bring up certain uh, templates and videos and things like that, but otherwise, um, for your uh, very basic video wall functionalities, very simple to use. 
uh, very user friendly. Uh, so just to kind of give you an idea, um, this is your main screen right here. Over here on the side, it'll give you a, uh, a drop down uh, menu of all the uh, available input sources that are plugged in. So if you have, say, four input sources plugged in from, say, four different VMS servers. Uh, and that's the other thing that I, um, I guess, uh, um, didn't explain earlier. Um, our Pro uh, Series controllers are agnostic, meaning they're not just, they don't really have any specific integration um, with specific VMS servers or NDRs or anything like that. Uh, they can pretty much work with any NDR or VMS servers. And that's what I mean by agnostic. So they're not really specifically only compatible with certain VMSs or NDRs because all you really need to do is have that video, video management server or NDR uh, export video via its HDMI and you just need to bring it in through each input of the pro server. So it's completely agnostic once again. If you have a security mounting station and you have different clients running different VMS, obviously, you know, some are going to be using Milestone, but some are using a Vigilon. Number of, I mean, any different VMSs can be brought in all together and they can be shown in a singular fashion on our video wall. And that's one of the key things about our key things about our uh, uh, pro, uh, pro series video wall servers. So once again, it's, it's very open-ended, very flexible, uh, you know, keeping in mind with the fact that a lot of the security mounting stations are catering to different clients that have different VMSs. So that's something that is very uh, accommodating for that kind of a need. Uh, so basically, this is a screen um, showing a two by two configuration. Uh, what it allows for is once you bring in your input sources, um, you can scale them. So within, this is like your uh, um, canvas, if you will. You know, so once your two by two is configured, uh, you can bring in an input source and rather than it really um, taking up like each quadrant like this, if you need that one input source to be slightly smaller, then you can scale it so that it only takes up this much of the screen space where the other input source might need to be larger because you have more cameras coming in from the VMS. So it's really, um, that's what that is. It's, it's a scaling feature. So um, it's, it's, uh, it's something that goes in line with the whole flexibility that this software offers. Um, once you have your array configure, meaning, you know, with your different scaling sizes and things like that, where, you know, your input, different input sources are basically placed and scaled uh, as necessary, then you can actually save it as one of the templates. And the number of templates that you can save is limitless. So you can ha literally have hundreds of different templates as necessary. So depending on, you know, who's on the shift, for instance, um, if they're more focusing on a different client or something like that and they need to see some of the other cameras larger from a different input source, they can certainly do that uh, by switching to different templates. So you can actually manually switch between templates. So, you know, for instance, if this was the uh, template that was being shown uh, for shift number one between the hours of uh, 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. or something like that, but the second shift starts at 6 p.m., then that person can literally just manually switch to template number two or whatever the template is that they need to look at. But uh, it could be done as a manual process. Otherwise, you can actually schedule different templates to run at different times. So it becomes more of an automated price, uh, process, leaves little room for human error, and just becomes an automated price, uh, process once again. So. Uh, it can be broken down into um, um, uh, how often uh, the templates change. Uh, you could change, you can uh, schedule different templates to be shown uh, as often as every 30 seconds. So if you need to change templates that often, it'll actually let you do that. 
So what I don't have a picture of that right now, unfortunately, but uh, in the scheduling sections, I'll basically, basically give you a calendar-based kind of a thing, or uh, it'll basically show, you know, seven days of the week, Sunday through Saturday, uh, and broken down into different hours. And then it'll actually let you, uh, you know, break it down once again into uh, increments of uh, 30 seconds even. So once again, if you need to have templates run that, you know, uh, change that often, you can actually do that. Um, so those are all the key functions of the software, CMS software. And once again, this is something that allows for remote uh, uh, viewing capability as well, or remote control as well. So uh, if you're controlling for these walls, you can actually log into each one remotely and make these changes. So uh, create templates, scale, or change the scheduling uh, of how these uh, templates run throughout the week. Um, we also have um, simple packages that we bundled together uh, called uh, a box. So we call these uh, video wall uh, in a box packages. Um, so um, not to go into too many details, but we have different um, in the box configure uh, uh, packages that we uh, packaged with different uh, size um, models that we have 49 and 59 in both um, NV and UNV um, series monitors. Uh, uh, and these will just basically be two by two simple video wall configuration. So if you're just looking for a simple, very basic two by two video wall configuration, we have these all bundled with four monitors, one pro mini controller, uh, and uh, simple video wall mounts. We also have mounts that are made specifically for video wall applications. So these are what we call XMS mounts. Um, they're pretty universal, so they'll support both our 49 inch and 55 inch models in both MB and UNB series. Um, What's unique about these monitors uh, or, mo or video wall mounts is that they're spring-loaded scissor-type mounts, so they're made to pop out. And why that's important? If you have a regular wall mount, uh, if you need to get to, if you need to get to the back of the monitor, and say you have a uh, three by three configuration video wall, um, you're going to have that one monitor that's stuck in the middle. Um, so you're going to have to take down other monitors around that monitor in the very center, in the middle, just to be able to get to the back of that monitor. So if a cable is dead, or if you, uh, or a cable comes undone, or you need to get to some, some uh, for some reason you need, you need to get to the back of the monitor, it becomes a very, very uh, cumbersome process. So spring-loaded scissor type will let the video wall uh, uh, monitor pop out so it's it's uh, so you don't have to take down any of the, uh, the the monitors that are around it to be able to get to the back of the monitor or or nor do you need to really take down the monitor from the mount it'll just literally pop out and give you access to the back of that monitor so any of the monitors that are within the video wall configuration are that the back of the monitors are accessible very easily Another thing about these mounts, uh, they're very easy to install because they come with what's called a spacer or alignment tool. If these mounts are not mounted correctly, these are, you know, you're building a video wall. They need to com come together perfectly, otherwise you're going to have weird gaps at, an, at angles and things like that, and the monitors are not going to align perfectly together. Obviously, that looks terrible for a video wall. So the spacer will let you do very precise alignments um, and spacing between these mounts. So when the monitors are mounted finally, they are perfectly aligned together. And that's what that uh, spacer looks like over here. We also have uh, what's called a custom fabrication division. Uh, so it's basically a shop uh, that we established to build custom mounts. So uh, on a very large scale, um, 
if you have a need for a, a certain very specific type of a, a video on mounts, meaning uh, they don't, um, the customer that is, uh, have the wall space, but they still need a very uh, um, large video wall, we can build what's called freestanding mounts that don't touch the wall, but they're basically freestanding on their own. So this is a one example of a, uh, that's a two by three configuration with six monitors. And that's a, actually a picture of how the monitor pops out like that. So that's, that's, a, uh, that's a pretty good picture that shows you how the, po uh, the monitor pops out with that uh, XMS mount. But basically the idea is if you need to build a special kind of a uh, uh, mount, because whatever, for once again, uh, for, for the reasons that you can't uh, just um, mount these uh, monitors on a wall in a typical fashion, or the wall is uh, at angles like this, so they need to do what's called a wraparound, uh, we can build these custom mounts uh, as custom fabricated mounts. These are all going to be uh, reinforced steel mounts that are built from scratch, basically, so they're going to be very heavy duty. Um, but pretty much we can build any type of uh, these uh, special mounts uh, as specified or to fit the exact need of uh, what that custom uh, application calls for. So we do, once again, uh, if you do have a project that needs something like that, we can help you with that. Uh, these are some of the pictures of the actual installs that we've done video all wise. Uh, this is a, uh, a company called uh, Security Watch 24 out uh, in New York City. This is one of the larger walls. I forget what the configuration is, but as you can see, it's a lot of monitors. So this is a very big security monitoring station. They have many, many different important clients. Uh, so this is a huge uh, one, probably the biggest wall that we've done so far, I would say. Uh, but this is also a picture of a typical security monitoring station where video walls will go into. So. Uh, but that's pretty much the best example of a large wall that we've done. Um, that's the same one. That's kind of a, a, a pre-install stage picture. Um, uh, we also do what's called, a, yeah, so our custom fabrication division can also build these other kinds of uh, specialties. Like uh, this is called custom cladding. So, uh, beyond just building a mount, if you need it to look a little bit fancier, if you will, um, we can build these uh, uh, freestanding video mounts with, like, uh, this is what's called a wood cladding. But it doesn't even just have to be wood. We can do any kind of cladding that uh, basically um, you specify. So it is kind of limit, limitless in that way. So uh, if you have an idea of how you want the, the custom wall to uh, wall mount to be or a custom mount to be built, uh, we can pretty much do it for you. Okay, moving on. Uh, now uh, this is another um, a key forte uh, that uh, our forte uh, as a, a manufacturer, uh, and we do a lot of projects uh, all around the world obviously here in the U.S., but also a lot in Latin America as well, a lot of retails. Um, so these are our public view monitors. So we uh, just launched our brand new N-series PVMs last year in 2017 um, and with a lot of uh, different improvements. So uh, let me go over uh, our two different types of uh, N-series PVMs that we have. Um, so we have the uh, analog or what we call HD versions uh, or IP versions. Difference being that IP versions are going to be IP addressable. Uh, they basically work like IP cameras. The whole idea with public view monitors, uh, I'm sure uh, most of you are familiar with that, but uh, the public view monitor, a lot of these monitors will go into retail applications mostly. They do also cater to other applications that are more commercial. Uh, than retail, like say uh, banks, for instance, like in the lobby, uh, hotels, even any any place that needs to do some kind of a basic digital signage, but also show camera at the same time. Uh, these are basically made for that purpose. But most of the times they go into retail. So, for instance, if you walk into a supermarket, 
a lot of the times this is something that's going to be right overhead, uh, right near the front door, kind of greeting you at the front door. But they're, all, they're, all, they're going to be also throughout different parts of the, uh, the store, like in different aisles and things like that. Basically reminding you that there's a built-in camera, there is surveillance going on at the store, and it's being recorded. Uh, but also, unique about these things is that they have the media playing or digital signage capability. So I'll get to that in a little bit. But, uh, uh, but in, uh, in both HD or analog and IP versions, three different sizes are available, 23, 27, and 32. And they can come either as white housing or black housing. So the IP version of our N-series monitors, let me just go over these, uh, uh, the, the key, key uh, features really quick. Uh, but they have both network TCP IP and analog video output. Uh, network output is gonna be full HD resolution. So these are 2.1 megapixel cameras, high resolution uh, with uh, uh, wide dynamic range, especially when you have these uh, right near the, uh, the front door at noon you know, where massive amount of sunlight comes in, you are gonna need wide dynamic range. Otherwise, everything's gonna be dark and silhouette and you're not gonna be able to see anything. So that feature is actually built into the camera. Uh, these are also very focal, so you can actually zoom into the exact uh, range uh, as necessary, you know, depending on how high uh, these are mounted on a pole mount, for instance, from the ceiling. Uh, so the very focal lens on the camera gives you flexibility to be able to you know, zoom into the exact range that you need, depending on how it's uh, installed. Uh, we were using acrylic before uh, for the front panel uh, or the protective uh, sheet. Uh, however, we found there are problems when you use acrylic, especially if there's a lot of uh, uh, weather condition kind of a thing where if it gets too hot, um, uh, it'll expand, but uh, if it's too, and so, you know, uh, basically uh, acrylic was susceptible to weather conditions where uh, it would either bend or something like that or uh, just not be structurally sound. So we started using glass. Um, so it's a lot more structurally robust now. So that's one of the improvements that we made from our previous series. Uh, these are all also IPS panels, uh, and if you're fam familiar with IPS panels, they're wide-angle viewing panels. So usually if, if you have non-wide-angle view uh, monitors, you can only really see clearly right in front of it, but if you're off to the side, you're not going to get that uh, uh, same image that the person standing right in, in the front angle is getting. So wide-angle viewing panels allow for much, much wider uh, viewing angles. Uh, and these are what's called broad range public view monitors. They're gonna be usually mounted on the pool. They cover a wider area. So IPS panel is actually very important for that purpose. Uh, if you're doing analog out, you're feeding the signal out to, from the camera to uh, uh, your local DVR, for instance, or another spot monitor throughout the store. Uh, you have 600 TV lines analog output by BNC as well. The media players are optional, but I uh, did mention that there is a, uh, a digital signage capability. If you install uh, the optional media player, if you actually order the PVM with optional media player, we will install it here before it ships out. But that media player supports both video and audio, um, <clears throat> uh, and it'll play picture files, slideshows, or video with audio. These also have built-in speakers, so you can actually have uh, video with full advertising playing. Uh, what's really cool about these PVMs is that they have source switching capability uh, based on either camera motion detection or set time interval. So if you set it to source select, or source switch rather, uh, based on camera motion detection, you can have it so that it'll show the camera typically, or camera uh, view, but when someone approaches the PVM, uh, it'll, uh, based on picking up, uh, uh, upon picking up motion, it'll switch to digital advertising. So um, if you're doing a special promotion, let's say you're a shoe store, a shoe retailer, a uh, foot locker or something like that, and you're doing a special promotion uh, for men's shoes, and it's Nike, and you're doing 30% off that week, 
when someone approaches that section, you can have that um, uh, digital advertising kick in as soon as the camera picks up motion. And as soon as that person sees the advertising and walks away, uh, it'll switch back to the, uh, the camera view. Uh, if you don't want to rely on camera motion detection to uh, switch source, but you'd rather just have it uh, automatically switch sources uh, 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 or uh, 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 on a schedule, you can actually have it switch uh, 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 based on a set time interval. So if you want to switch sources every five minutes, you can actually do that. So it'll be an automated process. Uh, but it's uh, usually a lot more popular to have the, uh, the camera motion detection switch sources. Uh, these also have uh, auto power and source recovery, so not only does it power back on when the, uh, there's a power outage and power comes back on, but it'll go back to the source that it was showing. So if it was a, uh, not just a camera, these also have HDMI inputs and things like that, so if they can also show external video on these, uh, it'll go right back to that source when the power comes back on. Uh, these also have the uh, blinking recording in pro uh, progress message that can be turned on or off, but otherwise it'll be blinking showing recording in progress. Uh, so that's another uh, very uh, good feature. Um, these will also actually have blinking LEDs as well uh, in different colors. I forget the exact colors, but they're white, purple, and red perhaps. But they could be also blinking, um, and that's another way to attract uh, someone to uh, come and take a look at the video image on this monitor. Um, so if you're doing digital advertising, that's actually a good idea to kind of lure somebody to come, you know. Uh, it just grabs a lot more attention, you know. Um. And uh, these are, uh, the, the cameras are IP cameras, once again. So these are uh, made to stream back to your VMS or NVR to be recorded. That's another very important feature. These cameras that are built in are on this profile as compliant and uh, views, these PVMs uh, are compatible and, you know, views as a company. Uh, we're basically uh, partnered with uh, over 30 different VMS partners out there. So all the big names that are popular in the marketplace, whether it's Milestone, Genetech, ONSSI, Avigilon, High Vision, Dawa, ba uh, Bosch, um, 3X Logic, all these companies are supported. Um, uh, and once again, these are available in 23, 27, and 32 inches in both white and black housing. And uh, our HD or uh, analog series, pretty much the same idea. Uh, it's the same, actually, it's actually the same exact camera that's in these uh, analog versions. Uh, only difference being that these are not IP addressable. So uh, in our IP version of these PVMs, these cameras are actually connected to what's called an IP module, and that's how it actually streams the video back to the VMS. Uh, but otherwise, it's a 2.1 2 megapixel camera, same exact camera. Uh, so you're still getting the high definition, full HD quality image on your PVM from, this, uh, from the camera. Uh, pretty much the same deal, glass panel, Live viewing IPS angle, you do have the 600 TV line analog outputs, optional media player, source selection upon motion detection or time interval, auto power source recovery. So it's pretty much the same thing. Another thing that I didn't mention earlier, uh, both or pretty much all um, N-series PVMs in these sizes, 23, 27 and 32, are dual voltage. So they'll either work with 110 volt to AC, which is like your basic computer cord. So if you do have local power, meaning where you're installing the monitor or the PVM at the store, supermarket, what have you, uh, there is a uh, there's an outlet right next to that PVM. Then you can just use your uh, computer power cord that it comes with, and just plug it in, and you know that's that. But usually you're dealing with large stores and uh, the exact location where you're installing the PVM, there's not going to be available local power. Then you can use um, a DC24 power that's made for long distance powering. So it does support 24 DC power as well. And we do actually have a power supply that supports that. 
uh, and you can actually have the PVM about as far away as 350 feet uh, from the actual power source. So uh, it is also made for long distance power, keeping in mind these installations are not always going to be uh, something where local power is available with the power outlet right next to the PVM. So that's why we have the uh, dual voltage on these monitors or uh, top of view monitors. Uh, so these are some of the the VMS partners that uh, we're partnered with. Um, so pretty big names, Genetech, Vigilant, Exact. That's one of the more popular ones. Axis, ONSSI Milestone. Uh, if you don't see something on the list, we have another list that's more comprehensive on our website. And we're constantly adding more VMSs and uh, uh, MVRs to our list because you know, depending on what projects that we get into, sometimes we have to start from scratch with that manufacturer. Uh, so one thing you have to keep in mind with these uh, on the uh, devices is that on paper, everything should check out, you know. So if your camera's on this and the VMS is on this, ideally it should work just fine. Um, unfortunately, that's not always the case because sometimes some of the functions are not gonna be supported. Like for instance, uh, you may be compatible with your camera that's on this compliant and your exact server, but for some reason, the exact server is not going to be uh, not going to support motion-based recording for some reason, and that may be either something that's on the camera side or the VMS side. So some, that's why you have to really officially partner up with that company and work out those kinks. And Views has been very good at partnering partnering up with these third-party uh, VMS and MVR companies. Uh, to do our due diligence to make sure all of our devices are fully compatible with these VMS platforms. Uh, so uh, that's um, PIP and PVP features. Uh, so if you have a, a media player um, and the camera, and you want to be able to not just do source switching, uh, but show them at the same time, then you can either do picture by picture like this or picture in picture like this. And you can even have, so I mean, it's basically one of those things where you can either choose the camera to be the larger view or, and the, uh, the advertising to be the smaller view and picture in picture or vice versa. So uh, these uh, viewing modes are also available on these uh, public view monitors, picture by picture and picture in picture. Uh, that's pretty much what uh, the interfaces are, uh, and if you have the optional media player, that's where that media player is going to be located. Uh, so this is a top view of the, the PVM, and uh, on this side is where the screen is. So, um, so the media player will support both USB and SD card. It doesn't have its own internal drive, so you have to have that USB thumb drive or SD card plugged in at all times if you're going to be playing contents off of those formats. Um, and it'll recognize uh, up to 64 gigs, whether it's SD card or USB. So you can actually have pretty big chunk of video uh, files because video files are pretty large, you know, depending on, but uh, potentially you can use all, uh, you're gonna, you may need all 64 gigs uh, um, depending on how big the video files are. But uh, uh, it'll recognize up to 64 gigs once again. And these are all the supported video formats. So your typical AVI and all that stuff is, uh, you know, MOV files, all these are supported. Supported picture formats, JPEG, uh, PNG, BMP, all that, uh, TIF, and these are um, also supported audio formats. So if you have uh, video with audio, for instance, uh, these have built-in speakers. Uh, it'll play the video with audio just fine. And uh, that's basically kind of giving you the idea what the source switching does upon motion detection. So this is your typical store. Somebody approaches in front of the camera and it'll switch right to this advertising right here. That's tied advertising. So indicating, I mean, we're kind of simulating a uh, supermarket uh, sort of a um, uh, application because uh, these actually do go to um, supermarkets a lot. So. Um, kind of an example of what it would do in a, uh, a source switching uh, scenario, if you have digital advertising, that is. 
Um, these are some of the uh, ancillary items that are associated with our public view monitors. So we have pole mounts. A lot of these are going to be mounted on a pole from a ceiling. Um, so we have two different models, um, CMO6 and 18. So we have uh, CMO6 that goes from six, uh, three to six feet. Uh, these are what we call telescoping poles. So they could be expanded to be six feet from three feet, depending on how low it needs to drop down from the ceiling. So uh, depending on the application, if you have a really tall ceiling and this really needs to significantly come down, then we have a CM18 model that will expand up to 18 feet. So these have what's called a ceiling truss. So these are truss mounted um, uh, pole mounts. And uh, the actual mount part where the PVM is going to be mounted, it does rotation and tilt. So a lot of flex, uh, flexibility there. Uh, and they can come either as black or white, depending on the color of the monitor, to match the, uh, the color of the monitor or the PVM. Um, any questions at this point? No, no questions. OK. All right, so this is. Um, a very unique product in the marketplace. Uh, this is what we call a IPM series, IP input monitors. And this is probably the most unique product that we offer in the marketplace. So what these are, and we have, in, we have them in two, we have two different models in two different sizes, 21.5 inch and 32 inch. Uh, these are what we call Android monitors. Um, so they have built-in Android board inside. Uh, they're basically made to work like your Android device, like your Android phone, for instance. Uh, only difference being that these are not touch screen. So it doesn't really work like your tablet or phone in that sense. You'll, you're still going to need mouse and keyboard. But the idea that it runs on an Android OS and you can download, install and download any apps of your choice. So given the security application or uh, those kinds of uh, application, commercial applications, uh, why is that an advantage to have that? So if you have a typical remote viewing station for your uh, NVR or VMS, you're going to need a monitor and a separate PC uh, in a typical way. Uh, not only is that, a co more, is that more, uh, more cost to you, uh, it is also more space consumption. So uh, literally, this is an all-in-one device. You can do all your remote viewing on a single device. So this is how it works. Um, you can download the uh, app of your choice. And if you go to uh, uh, a Google Play or, uh, or even the website of that VMS or MDR, typically they'll have Android-supported apps, so you can run it on your phone and things like that. So you can actually install that app, and a lot of these are going to be actually free. Uh, so once you install it, this is that's an exact mobile app right there. Um, that's a licensed free free app that uh, basically uh, allows you to do uh, remote viewing without once again had, uh, uh, needing a separate PC with a monitor. So not only is it cost saving, it's very convenient and um, uh, space saving as well. Uh, not only that, it also comes in with a, a built-in app. So we have we developed a built-in app that's compatible with 8,000 over 8,000 IP cameras. Um, so if you want to bypass the VMS and connect directly to the camera IP camera uh, using this app, you can actually do that. And why is that an advantage? Uh, typically. When you connect to your VMS and you're, you know, you can get up to, I imagine, 16, 32 cameras, depending on. Those are all going to be downscaled images, you know, because you're trying to view as many cameras from a single, v, uh, you know, uh, on, a, on a single device with limited uh, video processing. You are going to need to downscale that video to a lower resolution so that it's easier to process. Otherwise, you're going to have a major bottleneck where pictures where the video will basically choke and, you know, um, you know, um, 
not buffer as well. So uh, if you connect directly to IP cameras, you're going to get a much higher resolution. Basically, what the camera was intended to stream at. So if the camera's programmed to stream two megapixel image at 30 frames, you can actually view that in 30 frames at that resolution. So there's no compromise in terms of video quality. So if it's actually important to see higher quality video that was coming in through your VMS, which, which is once again compromised, then this device will let you do that. So it's a much better way to remote view your video. Um, another application, and this is a very interesting application, uh, a lot of the times people will need to do spot monitoring, meaning um, if you're a bank and you need to run nine cameras or show nine cameras at once, or show one camera and have a sequence, meaning one camera and then three seconds later, camera number two, three seconds later, camera number three. It's hard to do that with IP cameras. There's no go-to product that supports that. There are analog uh, spot monitors using analog matrix switchers, but not IP cameras. So this is a device that lets you do that without needing any other external device. So this just literally connects to, say, nine cameras and it'll do just that. Either show nine cameras, not cameras simultaneously, or uh, sequence through each camera, one camera at a time, every three seconds or so. So this is actually one of the very few products out in the marketplace that will support that kind of an application. So we've done a lot of restaurants where in the front, people will be greeted by nine cameras simultaneously or whatever, or warehouse where you know, uh, somebody who's in the back, who does, uh, if you're a, a business where somebody's not always out in the front, uh, this is a way to basically know that someone's out, uh, at the, uh, the front door if you're in the warehouse or something like that, you know, uh, or if you just need to scroll through nine cameras every three seconds. Uh, but those are all your IP cameras. Once again, this is one of the very few products out in the marketplace that will support that. So. Uh, that's your typical connection diagram. Um, so basically, yeah, this is a uh, depiction of uh, cameras over the network streaming to this device to be viewed. Um, so uh, once again, these are available in 21.5 or 32 inches um, uh, sizes wise. And uh, pretty much that concludes the, uh, the presentation. So uh, I went over all of our key products. We do have uh, some more products that I didn't go over that are a little bit um, not as important, I guess. But uh, uh, pretty much we cover the whole gamut. Our focus was we were a manufacturer of uh, displays. So pretty much anything to do with monitors, we can support you with that, you know, whether it's a very simple application where you know, we need just, you know, basic desktop monitors that are this size, but, you know, made to be 24-7, commercial grade, made to last. So, you know, something that, you know, where, you know, if you just use your uh, consumer grade ViewSonic product, you know, those will crap out in about two years. Ours are made to run much longer, say five years, you know, and they're, they're made to once again run 24-7 around the clock. Uh, and, you know, a lot of our monitors are once again, geared towards very specific security applications. So that's why we do have the connections that regular consumer monitors don't have, BNCs. Um, and beyond that, once again, we have models that support even um, um, the high definition analog formats, TDI, CVI. You're not gonna really find that very easily in the marketplace. So we're one of the, once again, one of the very few monitor manufacturers that offer products like that, that are very security specific. Uh, and uh, uh, our video wall products and public view monitors, we were, uh, I would really literally count with five fingers how many uh, key manufacturers there are in the world, and we are one of them. So uh, we're trying to reach out to, you know, um, um, uh, we've picked up a lot of business in the last two years in Latin America, especially with video walls. We're really kind of a, 
taking a, we're really fo uh, putting our focus on taking up these projects. We are aware of the fact that there are a lot of projects like this happening um, um, uh, in the Caribbean re uh, region, for instance. We have we've done three, four video walks last year just to just in Aruba, you know, but we go all over the place. Uh, um, Curacao, you know, uh, anywhere really in that region. Um, and we're, we're constantly looking to exp expand our business and uh, pick up more projects and, you know, get our name out there. And, uh, you know, um, another thing about views is we're very, we're a very personable company, you know, no one at this company is really, you know, beyond reach. I mean, we are pretty much available. Uh, uh, I wouldn't say around the clock. I mean, obviously you need to sleep and stuff. But uh, you know, uh, if you need to get a hold of hold of us, even beyond after hours or something like that, and you know, obviously dealing with different you know regions of the world, you know, we have time differences and things like that. But we are you know once again a lot lot more personable, a lot, lot more reachable. Um, and myself and you know included, you know, uh, if you need to discuss specific projects and video wall is something that especially something like video wall, once again, it's something that's involved, meaning there's, there's a lot of design and things like that that need, need to be discussed. And, you know, a lot of the times, you know, uh, people that we deal with, uh, uh, integrators, uh, they're not really clear on how to design something for their customer. That's how we get involved. This is where we say, leave it to us. We'll design everything for you. And, you know, you can at that point tell us, okay, that works, that doesn't work, you know. Uh, but we'll basically, you know, do bulk of the work as far as figuring out what needs to be done to to cater to those video wall applications. You know, uh, uh, everything down to designing the, uh, you know, the configuration configurations of the server, uh, and you know, bringing in different devices to be shown. Uh, we can worry about all that for you and to help help design it for you, code it for you. Um, we also do what's called project uh, registration. So if you register your projects with us. Uh, you're getting that protection on the project level, meaning, you know, you're getting pricing protection for one thing so that, you know, we can make sure that you're getting the lowest price from us for the same products by your register so that, you know, um, you know, we'll give you a, uh, a, a preference over the other vendors, you know. So uh, we do have all these different reasons and advantages that we offer, you know, to work with us, you know. So uh, that concludes the, uh, the presentation. Um, if you don't have any other questions at this point, um, that's pretty much a wrap. <laughs> no, there is no questions right now. Um, tomorrow, I uh, will send you all a link uh, to watch the recording of this webinar and to download the presentation. I will leave you in the chat my email address so you can contact me if you have additional questions. And also you can go to our website to know more about us and about uh, the other brands that we also represent and also information about views. Um, thank you very much for attending. Thanks to John for the presentation and have a great day, everyone. Thank you. Have a great day, everybody.